When I was young, what I really wanted to be, I believe, was just a surfer. And it was just enough for the white boys to be just surfers. The, the problem was I could never just be a surfer because I was always black. You know, I just assumed the stereotype. Blonde hair, blue eyes, tan, you know, just a dude. <laughs> I said, I think I'm going to be a surfer, man. And the kid looked at me dead in the eye, confused. He was like, surfer? You guys don't even swim. I've got a volume of an English sea captain who describes surfing in Ghana. Surfing at Cape Coast Castle. Why did they stop surfing along the coast of West Africa? History is written not by natives, it's written by the white European world at the time. ASP World Tour is like probably very close to 100% white. You see one black guy surfing for every hundred white guys surfing, you know, or more. I was made fun of uh, at school, walking down the street with my surfboard, dudes yelling, black people don't surf, stop trying to act white. This is a, a overwhelmingly white male sport that um, has been chronicled from Frankie Avalon and these beach uh, movies that came out, particularly in the 1960s. You know, the myth that, that it's a white boy sport, that's absolutely absurd. It comes from a deeper place way deeper and it's it's gonna it's, it means a lot more people want to ride these things they want to have fun and no matter where they are they want to live and catch a wave too you know what I mean and they'll do, do whatever is necessary within their means at that time to be able to ride a wave God only picked a few black surfers. I'm sure glad I got to be one of them. <laughs>